Uh, we got a big day today because the two most common messages I get from people are, bro, your jokes are dark. Honestly, nothing I can do about that. I'm broken. The other one is, how do I get bigger arms? That one I can fix. So today we're gonna hit biceps. We're going dumbbells only because even in Arizona, where you can walk in the grocery store with your junk in one hand, a gun in the other, and no one says shit, you still can't go to the gym. So if you're ready, let's get after it. It's safe to assume you don't have a full set of dumbbells just sitting around because why would you? Good news is, you don't need them. I'm gonna use 20s, maybe 25s, that's it. So the name of the game today is really cranking up the intensity of each exercise by slowing down that negative, doing a static hold, doing supersets, or completely changing the angle of the actual exercise itself. Good news with that is those intensifiers will lead to a lot better results than just upping the weight. All right, so we're gonna start with one I talked about before, but we can make it even harder. So you're gonna set up like a normal curl, palms supinated towards the ceiling, and as you start to go in that negative part of the movement, you're gonna lean back and put more pressure from gravity. But the key here, don't let that arm extend all the way out. If you do, pressure goes right to that elbow, you lose it on the bicep, so keep a slight bend. You're gonna hold three seconds at the bottom of that movement, so static hold for three seconds. Just keep that pressure, and then as you start to contract up, you're gonna lean into it, making it a harder contraction, and then hold three seconds at the top. So from there, it's just three seconds static at the bottom, and at the top, trust me, this one sucks. All right, next up we got a compound set, or you can even categorize this as a mechanical drop because what we're gonna do is an incline curl, and on these I like to err on the side of being too far back because I wanna open up those shoulders, I wanna put that bicep on an island all by itself. The one thing I've noticed, if you're too straight up and down or only slightly lean back, that shoulder can jump in and you can screw it up. So err on the side of being too far back, and what we're gonna do is incline curls and pushing that to failure, and then right from there, we're doing a drag curl. So nice part about this, there's no rep range. You do incline curls until you're just toast, and then from there you do some ugly ass drags. You guys know I love cables for biceps, but there's one exercise that you gotta to commit to a whole new level of douchebaggery to do, because it's one thing to take up the cable crossover and do chest flies and take up two damn machines at once, but it's another thing to go walk in front of it and do bicep curls standing like this, staring at the mirror. Even I throw up in my mouth a little bit as I'm doing them. But problem is they work really well. What we can do with that though, is take that same concept here on biceps, put the bench up a little bit, open up those shoulders, and then just sit there and curl against it same type of feel, less douchebaggery. All right, let's finish up by beating up that brake gallus. So what you're gonna do is take a slight angle on that bench, lean against it, but instead of doing just straight hammer curls, which by all means works pretty damn well, what you're gonna do is get that wrist involved and you'll see the contraction get that much better. So as you go down, you're gonna pronate it put that hand towards the bench as you come up, supinate it up, and you can see that little bit of twist is where you really get that breakouts to fire even more. I think Gray was a bad choice. As always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want me to keep going on this dumbbell series, let me know. Get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.